pulling Ye from Adidas is literally destroying Adidas. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And then they're going to hire us, and then we're going to have our own <laughs> shoe, and we're going to take over. We can create all sorts of different lines. I'll create some boots. Like We'll have all sorts of stuff. Are you broken? Uh, my feet hurt. You know, you know what else hurt? What? Hearing the news of Adidas and Kanye West. Yeah, he's hurt. Termination. He can't get pumped up like these AC ones. I, like I, I didn't even realize this. So I was up here like, what does that do? Ooh. It pumps inflatable airbags inside these shoes. Nice. I'm wearing these mischief a uh, AC ones. Those aren't your size though. Are they, they are size twelve. They nice. hit me up and he was like, "What's your size? I'm sending you one." I was like, "All right, send it." tight that's kind of tight but yes kanye yo <laughs> aside hurting. from that cardo wings just text me i just looked down nice. remember remember the conversation we had Big about that Scott? Show. he says say less and let me know when you want a link there you go all, all right. right we're about to have cardo on the show cardo on the show I'm big friend of the show we don't actually it could be the show downstairs or it could be the show up here it could be both a little two for one. So we had to talk with Kanye West topic when it was yeah. premature, when they said yeah. that they were under review. Mm -hmm. Everybody woke up this morning. And of course, my phone, your phone, DMs, yeah. every feed of social media I got on um, was nothing but the topic of termination. Mm -hmm. And so it's still new, but a lot of things have already happened since the news have broke. So I just kind of wanted to go over some of this stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot's changed. And other people have followed suit with adidas and go and gone ahead and announced their termination so at the end of the day this is what i have to say as an overall of everything i don't care your stature in life how famous you are how influential you are how much money you have how much power you have at the end of the day the words that come out of your mouth one can be used against you mm -hmm. and two you should always be held accountable everybody should be held accountable for anything they do in life I don't care who you are. Yeah. You can't just go around talking crazy. crazy. Yeah. I mean, it, does he have points, certain points that, that don't, re, uh, that aren't about like race and things like that. Some of his little points that he might say, cool, I get it. Like, I understand where you're coming from, but everything else that you're saying, like all those racial slurs and everything like that, like you can't just go around just talking. Yeah. Like it's that. crazy. Uh, I think it's one of those things where, um, uh, We've talked about this before where one bad thing can erase your mm -hmm. hundred good things. You yeah, it's, know? it's cancel culture nowadays. You, you, you got to be careful. You get one fuck up for every 100 attaboys. <laughs> and uh, not only did he use his one pass or his one mess up, but then he just kept going. Got a lot more than and one mess up. Got a couple more right after. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Um, it's it, it sucks, but we're going to have to see how this plays out. So obviously a few weeks ago, they said his Adidas contract was under review. Uh, Gap made similar claims. And today is the day that everyone from Gap to Adidas, as well as Def Jam, have officially terminated their ties with Kanye West. So his label, apparently after Donda was fulfilled, um, his contract was up. He probably assumed that they would just renew it because he's Kanye West. Um, but at this point, they're choosing not to renew. So it's interesting to see where everything will go, not only from his uh, uh, fashion career, the clothing, the shoes, but also um, the music career as well. Uh, aside from that, like his success is built from support. Yeah. Like people like Kanye West, so they support whatever he does. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The minute you 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 cross those boundaries and or upset people, the support system's gone. So when these things are being stripped from you and you're like, oh, I got it, I'll do it on my own. But what you have to understand is now, it, one, you're on your own. And two, y you've lost a lot of the support system that created you know your success from the jump. So I find it being very hard... If he were to make his own music, will Apple even put it on? Yeah. Will, will they yeah. even allow it to be on their platform? Yeah. I mean, I will. Yeah, because it's like he's about to get that check, though. What do you mean from the label? From Adidas. He for has to get that check. He has to get a severance check. And that check's about to be stupid. Yeah, remember when he said they tried to throw a baby B at him? Yeah. Like, so so he's about to. So it's like it's like one of those things where he's about to be super rich and have but have no support. 
But what you have to understand is they're also saying that in these last few weeks that everything's been going on, that he's been spending money like outrageously out of control. Yeah. So as fast as that money could come in, he could be making these certain moves that could be, you know, he spent 500,000 on Balenciaga last year, they said. Yeah. Like what? Oh, well, speaking Half of that, a million remember, on remember Balenci? my homeboy that works at Balenciaga in Yeah, you showed uh, me like a $130,000 fucking it buy. Was, it was a $130,000 Kanye West receipt. And um, you know what he did with all that? It was all shoes for the show. It, no, right? He gave it all away. Yeah, it wasn't even his. Like there was people that were coming to the events and stuff. I remember seeing a picture. He had like all these shoes lined up with boxes and boxes with the shoe style on top against the wall. And people were just going up and just grabbing a mm-hmm. pair and putting it on. So, and that's the crazy thing, because despite the things that he said and the things that he's done, he does still have a crazy fan base and people that are going to ride for him regardless. So it's a bold statement for a brand like Balenciaga to say, okay, we're going to cut ties with Kanye, take the pictures off the website. But at the end of the day, I want to see what their fiscal year looks like at the end of next year without having a year of... Kanye fans and, and yeah. his support system supporting that brand. I'm now, what do their sales look like? Because I've seen a lot of people start getting into Balenci Me. all off the strength of Ye. Me. Yeah. I bought my Balenciaga bag and my Balenciaga frames because I saw the influence he had. And then I've watched everyone shift. You know, every year when it comes to high fashion, every year there's there's a different house that runs popularity. Yeah. So like, you know, two years ago is Gucci. Um, and then you had Dior, you know, it was like a uniform. If you didn't have the Dior mm-hmm. Chucks mm-hmm. with the shirt, like you weren't cool. And then, or the saddlebag. Yeah. And then you had, uh, Bottega and, uh, Bottega took Bottega over. Bottega and, and, uh, Balenci. And then Balenci. So it's like every year a different fashion house kind of takes that role of like hot. Yeah. You know, there's, those ones that are always going to be cool. Louis Vuitton will always, t- in it's my timeless. eyes, the timeless is ones. a timeless play. There's a timeless, uh, brand. But like Gucci's even been doing a lot with North Face, those North Face yeah. drops. That's they they that's brought them back to life well, a little bit too. Which was scary because of the blackface thing yep, that happened, exactly. and then Boozy got behind it and was trying to push people to Gucci don't love black people. What are y'all yeah. like yelling at people when they're in line at Gucci and stuff when he was going to the yeah. mall? I don't know if y'all ever saw those videos. Yeah. So he is very influential and he does help out more than you think. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's like when you're a brand owner, whether you're Adidas, Balenciaga, Def Jams, whoever, you you have what you stand on as a human being, morals and ethics, yeah. and then you have money. Now, what's more important to you? Right. In my eyes, my morals and ethics are way more important to me, and they of outweigh course. everything I do in life than, than getting just a bag. getting a bag. Yeah, absolutely. And so these people are understanding that, and not only that, but it's like he's hurting people. Like emotionally hurting people. Well, he came out and said that that when you were just showing me that new new uh, podcast that he did, where he's speaking like, "Hey, yeah, I know I'm. It's hurting people, and I'm recognizing he that." He also said he was like mentally challenged. Yeah, he did an interview with a uh, Jewish guy. I would assume his name is Lex Fridman. They dropped a two and a half hour podcast. I saw a couple clips this morning, and it looked like the more. Uh, the most logical things that he's said in uh, in an interview, and he even talks about that, how all of the interviews that you've been seeing are all very emotionally charged. You could tell from the very beginning of the Pierce interview that they were going to have a very back. Yeah. It, it, there wasn't a casual conversation. Even the way that he was talking to Tucker Carlson was almost in a very emotional and defensive sense um, with the things that he was saying. And this new interview just seems a lot more just calm and collected. And so I'm excited to watch that to see how this is going to play out. Um, You're going to have to watch it fast because every interview he's ever gets, done, yep. they take it down. Yep. Yeah. So I was fortunate enough to watch the Drink Champs one. Now, other people probably caught on because I see it uploaded on YouTube it's on reposted. other people's it's reposted. Channels. It's reposted. I watched it this morning. I watched it this morning. It's, it, but yeah. it's not on Drink Champs. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Because that happened. That me and Corey and I were watching it the other day while we were working on the cars. That's right. That's right. And we made it through two and a half hours or the first two hours or something. And we went in to go watch some YouTube tutorials on something else. Um, and then by the it was like three o'clock in the afternoon. And by the time we came back out, it had been deleted from the page. Yeah. Um, and I was just so blown away. He just um, got a uh, he just got a lot of backlash, and Noriega being a part of the culture and being an influence as well. He was um, in a tough spot. 
Yeah. Yeah, he was. They and, looked uncomfortable. Well, he it, also the whole told time. me he also said that he was afraid to interrupt because when the meeting before the meeting started, Kanye said, "If you interrupt me and or say anything like as to like going against what I'm saying, I'll walk up and leave." Yeah. So he was just kind of like walking on eggshell, so he was allowing him to speak. And there were times like halfway through where Noriega uh was like, you know, you, you can't be saying that kind of stuff. Like, you have to understand, like, with the, with the George Floyd situation and everything yeah. like that. He he later on stood up for everybody. Yeah. But um, it's one of those things where I think he was just allowing him to get everything off his chest and voice his opinion. But at the same time, who he is, it, it wasn't the right time and place, yeah. I think, for him. Yeah. Uh, Crazy. Well, I'm going to say this. So this is, uh, we're going to do this month in sneakers, right? There's not one Yeezy on here. Yeah, because I just saw on social media, Foot Locker put out an urgent email to every single Foot Locker store telling them to pull it off their shelves. Yeah. So there's a few things I want to kind of break down. So I have a list of different things that Michael just sent me, um, but that I'd like to go over. So Adidas cuts ties. Let's just kind of break down real quick. Adidas cuts ties. We won't know till it evolves. Does that mean, do they own the silhouettes? Yeah, they, they do. do. They do. They own the trademarks. I saw a yeah. complete list and breakdown of so all the patents so and they just can't, on all those shoes. They just can't be Yeezy 350s anymore. They had to be Adidas 350s or Ultra Boost 350s. But at the same time, it's like, are they, is that messed up if they keep pushing it out? Like, is it a bad it, look? Because that name is still attached to, to the look. No, yeah. It's not attached to the name anymore, but it's still attached to the look. You're like still at gonna the look end of the day, when you look down and you see those, you're, you're still going like, to see Yeezys. Yeezys. People yeah. are still going to call it a Yeezy 350. I don't no matter care what. if you change it to a So, And I think they know that. So, but it's like, but it's that's probably, bread and butter, right? But that's probably why they pulled it off the shelves to kind of like, okay, how's this going to work? Is this going to work? Let's take them off the shelves first before well, no, we move they're not allowed, forward. They're not allowed to sell the, all the Yeezys right. have Yeezy branding. Right. They can't so sell that's what I'm saying. So that. they're going to have to send it back, get different boxes. No, it's different not even tags. that. You no, think, the actual shoe has YZY on it. So what I'm getting at is, is that a loss? Are they burning those? Yeah, they have to. Yeah, they have to. That's yeah, over. Yeah. That's For over. sure. Guaranteed. Okay. okay, now. You'll see those in Kohl's. <laughs> now, oh my God. Uh, uh, that'd be crazy. Now, with that being said, and the media, majority of everyone right now is not backing anything he's saying because we're hurt or upset with the way he's acting are the shoes that he's dropped previously going to go up in value yeah of course you think that's just regardless for sure yeah for here's sure. but what if what if the, there's no one wanting to spend that kind of money because they don't support him we anymore? talked about it in the last episode no one comes in and buys them because it's kanye's shoe they buy it because it looks dope and it's comfortable okay here's what i'll say about it we watched a situation with travis scott and mm. everybody cut ties with him. Everybody cut it off. Yeah, everybody still, cut ties. Okay, and he waited, let it all play out. And now things are back to normal. Now, I'm not saying that things will go back to normal for Kanye, um, especially resuming a relationship with the brands that have now cut him off. But what I think is his ability to re-garner the fans' attention, build something new, do something new, uh, build something new will certainly still be there. Because I mean, Nike never... Cut ties with Travis when that happened. No, they didn't. You know but I mean? at the same so. time, his music and his rage created that. But he wasn't fully responsible for exactly yeah. what happened. Like Kanye's fully Kanye's responsible. Kanye's very for it. understanding of what's going on before it comes out of his mouth. And I will say though, Larry, to piggyback what you said, is the shoes might have not died, but in our store, Travis Scott clothing was no one was buying. That's very true. Nobody was buying his clothes because I think that's more tied to personally mm-hmm. him. But they were already not buying his clothes. Mm, no, they're they're. I mean, I'm the one that restocks you it. And yeah, I mean, we're it's pretty heavy. Before so. that, mm-hmm. I feel like we hadn't had Travis in like a year. No, no we, I, did. I, I, we did. We did. Really? Yeah. We were still getting it because uh-huh. it was actually uh-huh. doing kind of well. That last uh, drop with like the like brown shorts. and the yellow okay. shorts and stuff. It was actually doing quite well. I'm trying to remember happened. what the timeline is. And then it just came the cause to a screeching halt. Was hole. the last one I think was that, cause a part of that I'm, one. That's what I'm saying. Like that was way before the stuff with Travis happened. I feel like no, mm, it was around the same time. It yeah. was before. It was before. But what I'm saying, like, it was selling still. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it stalled yeah. out. And completely. then because I remember we were in uh we were in Long Beach whenever we got the news about that kind of stuff. 
And then when we got back home, we are like, okay, so what do we do? And then we just had this tiny little section of Travis Scott in the store, and it just stayed that same size forever. forever. Right in the front of the yeah, bank. Yeah, and it just stayed there forever. And then when it, when he did another drop, I was just like, eh. Yeah, but my, my, yeah, my no. point was you were already being very selecting selective of what Travis Scott pieces you were buying. Yes. Because all yeah. the regular merch wasn't well, selling. It's because he wasn't putting out any music. Yeah. Keep in mind, like, when Travis was going heavy is when Astro World, yeah. 2018 all the way into, like, 2019, almost 2020, because it was still relevant, mm-hmm. and then he just stopped putting music out, and then there was no album in production. Which is still weird that he hasn't dropped an album. Bro, yet. it's so weird. You would have thought he would have followed right back up after Astro World. They hyped even it up before. at Coachella. Remember when they Utopia. did the billboards? Utopia. They, yeah, Utopia. They had it. They had it hyped up. He had to push it after back. he like once he came back. Right. They started hyping up the album, and then nothing happened. Yeah, he dropped that. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I, like I was like, that's how you're coming back with some mumble shit with Future, like yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, so Adidas, the silhouette will still be around. You I think, don't know. You think the prices will still go up? I don't think the silhouette. I think the prices gonna, will remain. The I don't demand think the for the shoe will still remain. Do you think they're going to backdoor all the shoes? Like Probably. stores? <sighs> yeah. They'll, they, they, Foot Locker owns Goat or whatever now. Like, I'm sure they'll figure oh, out wow. something. <laughs> they're going to yeah. figure yeah. something out. What if that's a part of the that. plan? And they just. What if they're like, bro. Keep all the shoes because we can backdoor them to go once they go up. I mean, there, it's there gotta you go. be. You're not just gonna take an L. Conspiracy, conspiracy, conspiracy. We solved right. it. We know what you guys are doing. We know what you're doing. Um, go. Next is Balenciaga cuts ties, which is which is to me. I know that hurt Kanye the most because Dimna was such a leader in his eyes. Yeah, yeah. He He's, said he was the best designer ever. He wishes he he said that if he could have it his way, Dimna would be the designer for Yeezy. He said he's tried to get Dimna to be a designer for Yeezy forever. Like he has his very special bond with yeah. him, but at the end of the day, his mor- Dimna's morals. Balenciaga is owned by a corporation, not Dimna. Yeah, exactly. And that corporation is yeah, probably they make the last straw or the last dis- uh, split decision deciding. Yeah. And if I had to guess, um, the genetic makeup of some of the ownership <laughs> of that corporation, right? I'm sure he probably. Set someone off. Is that off. LVMH? No, it's no? not. No. It's another one, CMI or something mm. like that. Another but big it's, one. It's one, another uh, big one. Makes sense. You know. I guess you're right. Even think about ownership versus designer. It's not. Mm. It was. It had nothing to he do did. with Dimna. That's way above his and pay grade. I also saw something in one of the interviews recently where Ye was talking about how he specifically went and gravitated and did everything with Balenciaga because uh, he was jealous of what Virgil, you know, the whole situation with yeah. Virgil at Louis. Yeah. Um, Vogue and Anna Wintour cut ties. Anna Wintour. Yeah. So what's the what's the, the the tie with Vogue though? I don't understand. Like what what did he? I mean, Vogue just is a, it's a fashion house. Correct. That, that is the say so. So that's like the hype right. beast or okay. whatever of that world, and that's they. So get if they're a not pushing the anything he's creating, yeah. then that's going to help dim his yeah. light. What's happening in that circle? So that goes back to like the Hollywood circle. That Vogue circle is like the fashion circle, which is why when he came after old girl Gabby. Um, it didn't sit well because you can't go against that circle. For sure. Those boots were mean? ugly, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that doesn't have anything to do with hair, though. I'm just saying the boots were ugly that he was talking about. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, drop by his talent agency, CAA. Yep. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's like, does that even really matter when you're Kanye West? Though? No, you don't need a talent agency. <laughs> like, talent like, they're going to hit you up. But you do in terms of being able to book that, 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 agency is what gets you the stadiums when he's putting these events together and he's doing those things at that agency who's booking yeah. and, and putting these things together and so without that you know then it's just con- hey this is kanye west can i book sofi stadium like now it's just, it's you know what and, i mean it's different and so we were talking earlier and he was ian had mentioned like you know he's got all this money he can do whatever he wants and i was like yeah but the support system's not there well now it's just, think about it i read that just the rest of this year alone, he'll lose two hundred and thirty six million on Adidas. It's like three months left. Yeah. yeah. Like well, imagine what, gonna what gonna a fiscal is, year pulls for him. Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna pay him out three to four years worth of what that right. value is. And so yeah. that's the you know he's gonna get a baby the, B. the baby B at at minimum he's gonna get. So I saw, you know, Forbes. They took him, him off from, the list. But he's about to be they right said he's back. worth four hundred oh, million. He's yeah. no longer a billionaire. And then he's gonna be worth one point yeah. four billion here after he gets that Adidas check. So 
You know, you're losing your money from uh, Adidas. You're losing your ties with Gap and Balenciaga because they were selling stuff together. Um, the talent agency dropped you, so therefore shows and things like that. You're losing money from that. And then Vogue is now cutting ties with you. So any sort of move you try to make in the fashion world will no longer be highlighted because you're blackballed. And then uh, they said his streams and sales and everything is going down. Like it was like 18% or something crazy like that. So all these things factor to a dollar amount. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so at the end of the day, he could sit here and smile and say, that's exactly what I wanted. Because I saw him in interviews like talking about all these people turning left and right. He's like, that's exactly what I wanted. He's like, I cut the grass short for a reason. Yeah. So that way I can know <laughs> who's, who's really there, right with yeah. who's there for whatever reasons and who's there because they actually fuck with me. And so, you know, you got the rise and the fall. This fall is harder than I've ever witnessed anybody in the industry. I feel like he's kind of like not, he's basically feeling like it's like, you care, but he's not, you know, he's acting like it's like a, a noble way to go out. Like he's trying to be the change and he doesn't care if it costs him his life, his money. He doesn't care about that. And that's like the stance. That's the, I don't, whether or not that's true. Yeah, or not, I don't he know. didn't want to play devil's advocate. Yeah, that's the stance he's going with. So it's like, okay, that's what you're doing. Cool. I mean, at the end of the day, these rappers say they, I mean, they've been saying it forever. So their soul to yeah, get rich. Yeah. And that's not just a saying. Like, yeah. There's rules you have to abide by and you abide by those rules and they'll pump whatever they can into you yeah. to make you successful. So if he doesn't care. And that, I'm assuming he's just tired of that. But and you got to live with it. You got to live with the consequences of that. But what and if that's, that's what if that's yeah. the stress off his back that he's always wanted? Maybe. Still doesn't take away from all the fucked up shit that he but, said. But though. I'm saying it take. But it, what it does, what it does do that he's not gonna like is take away his ability to do the things he wants to do. Yeah, he won't be able to. He'll have no voice. He's banned from Twitter and Instagram. Yep. He wants to buy that other app. What's Parler. it called? Parler. 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 He's going in. No one cares about Parler. And so, yeah, he had to play. He's playing devil's advocate, and he doesn't want to do that. So he risked it all. And I, I don't know where this is gonna go. Like, I don't. Damn. I couldn't even tell y'all my thoughts of where Kanye would be in the next six months. At all, he's gonna have to lay low. He's, he's not gonna. gonna he's not lay gonna low. lay low. No, he won't lay low. I'm gonna tell you this. There was a. There's ways he could have gone about it. In in terms of just like getting his point across. Yeah. But instead he went very personal and he dug his own grave and it's so deep that he can't even get out of it. Yeah. Mm. It's uh, even, you know, people like us where we would typically defend and, and I can't, ride for him, yeah. but there's just like certain lines where it's I can't. like, eh. He's it's like, I might agree with you over here, but what you said over here yeah, makes no, me not agree with you yeah, at all. Yeah. yeah you yeah, get what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Like I, I, I don't, I would never bash anybody, about religion, politics, gender, nothing. Like, you are who you are. Your interests are your interests. Your political views are your political views. Your sexuality is your sexuality. And that's you. Why would I care? The, th the thing is, though, we were talking about it earlier, is like, he's not, tr like, whenever you break down what he's saying, though, he's not trying to say those things. He's kind of like, I'm being labeled as that. So I'm going to go with it. But I'm just like, are you, though? Like, I mean, they tried to do that to Eminem and said that he didn't like gays and he just went along with what the media said he was when in all reality I that am wasn't whatever you say. I exactly. Am. Yeah. And so and he just did it and it created yeah. a character for himself. But in all reality, he wasn't. And that's why he went and did the Grammys with Elton John to show you all like that's not. Yeah. yeah. Media said I was. That's, that's not, not true. true. The media tried to say he was the reason for the shootings in Columbine with Marilyn Manson. Yeah. Like none of that shit's true. That's just what the media but says. It's, but it's hard out Kanye because he's it's, the one saying it. Exactly. <laughs> but this is a different story with him because yeah. it's literally him saying it. Yeah. And I don't, at, at the end of the <laughs> day, like, I, I don't stand behind any Here's the thing. The one thing that he said is the, the, the one specific line is the tweet about the i'm gonna go death con three on the jews bro i literally re where... i retweeted it and i i literally retweeted it and i said kanye can't come back from this it was this like he posted it it was late it was like midnight and i retweeted it and i said yeah. kanye's not gonna come back from this yeah and then the next morning i woke up and it was deleted yeah and so that was a <laughs> like oh they so, came to delete a repost i and, thought once you reposted it stuck no 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 no, yeah, they could, no. So it just if he pops deletes up. it, does it delete off of yours? It doesn't too? delete off of mine, but it just pops up as like you retweeted and no content. There's no content. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
And so that's where the emotion gets in the way because everything else he was talking about in terms of like, they're trying to shut me down, you know, because they control all the media, like those things are the, but we know that. Yes. Those things are true. Are, are, are true. Those things are valid. We can say if he, if we say the words Jewish media, that's not like some, uh, unknown right. term. Like everyone knows that, you know, like in Hollywood who, sure. it's, who it's ran by. And so, you know, it's, the fact that that tweet is what crossed the line. So it's like, again, you know, it's hard to even defend him because no, I don't want anyone to go death. Not, not, yeah, not at all. Now tell me this. <laughs> tell me this, anyone. Though. What a harsh. Would you ever forgive him? Oh, I've uh, already forgiven him. Um, and I think that anybody of any real uh, religion of substance should also forgive him. Um, and, and, and so you have to because you have to understand his frustration, right? So there is some validity to the things that he's you're, – you're wa- we're watching it right now. Look at how much money he literally just dropped off the Forbes list and just literally lost billions of dollars overnight. So there's there is some validity to the things that he's talking about and who really controls what. Oh, and what right. that control really like you looks weren't a billionaire. Like. We behind the scenes yeah. we made you a billionaire and if you fuck up and don't do what we say, we'll just take it all away. Correct. And it's not we like the, all the owners of these corporations are all in a group chat together and they all move together in some cabal like that, you know, people are trying to make it seem like there's some conspiracy there, but obviously there's a lot of control there. And when they all, one decides to pull the plug, they all move in motion. You know what I mean? So we've literally watched five people, major corporations, being entertainment the last one. agencies, Adidas, whatever it may be, they're willing to sacrifice. What was it? Quarter billion in yeah, sales yeah. just to say, Hey, we don't sorry deal guys, with that guy. but we can't rock with this and so when you talk about who really controls what that wasn't a collective thing where they all decided together it was like tell me this if though. one's moving like that we're all moving like that tell me like this though though larry adidas took a while to even say anything you know yeah, they had that in they had that they had that lady in the back that was high up the direct was, she was a director she was, she was a jew as well yeah. her linkedin ex- yeah she was uh she was expressing her concerns about it so do you think that adidas just followed suit for the simple fact that they didn't get turned on for not following suit? Or do you think they strongly agree? I think that because they, they took were, so long. It's a bad look. Because, it's a yeah, bad they look. should have been, they were the ones that were like the key holder to mm-hmm. his success. They should have just been like, it was a bad You're look. Gone. Yeah. But it's, instead, it's they were the last review. to do it. Yeah. yeah, it's under review because that's a lot of money. And because at the end their of the day, this stake. corporate greed. He's 60% online sales. All that matters is the bottom line. What not is the people. Because they can. Bro, because yay, like pulling yay from Adidas is literally destroying Adidas. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And then they're going to hire us, and then we're going to have our <laughs> own shoe, and we're going to take over for the private selection. I'm, you think I'm kidding? Somebody yeah. get Adidas on my line. Put Adidas. me in touch with the marketing team. Please, Adidas, holler at me. I'm ready. We can create all sorts of different lines. I'll create some boots. No, yeah. we'll we'll do the full fit capsules. <laughs> we'll do the Scotties. <laughs> we'll do the the chefs. Then we'll have early birds. Like we'll have all sorts of stuff. Super. Um. Cool. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. I don't appreciate everything that's going on. I'm all about letting everyone have their own equality in life of whatever they choose. And for somebody to come and try to tear you down on your views and or belittle you or make you feel less of a person. I don't stand for that kind of stuff. Mm -mm. Um, So I don't stand for Kanye West right now. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Sad situation. But um, where, where does this go in terms of uh, only time will tell what resell? Yeah. Where does this go in terms of market value? I think it goes (laughs) market value. I mean, anyone that's coming in, isn't like, I'm not buying these because they're wet. Kanye West, like no, no one is. So, but is the value going to go up? Like it, I think. I know Nike's happy as hell right now. But all the Nike, (laughs) yeah, they got no competition now. Oh yeah, because they're they're just like no competition. And I know New Balance is super happy. Yeah, they're like now I can go to number two. Market share, yeah, (laughs) yeah, for sure. New Balance, holler at us. I'll do something with y'all now. Yeah, it's gotta be tight though. It's gotta be early. Yeah. Send it to me early. Ain't doing no it's G- gotta be early. Ain't doing no GR thing. I mean, it's gotta be earlier, rare. Yeah. One or the other. Yeah, give me a Joe Fresh Goods or something. That's I, only- and that's the thing. I feel like uh, New Balance might be the move. Maybe we need a private selection New Balance collab. How cool would that be? 
because they're de- they deal with like somebody yeah. like a, a Joe and Fresh Goods, you know? They're about I mean? the culture. Like, yeah. Um, in the comments, guys, I just wanted you to let me know how you feel about the situation, and or do you still support any sort of Yeezy coming out? Would you buy it? And do you think the market value of Yeezys will go up or down? Do you have anything else to say in the comments that they can say? No, that. But just be nice, be respectful. I don't want to hear just like if Kanye, blah, blah, like yeah. give me like a legitimate. Especially if you are Jewish, I especially want to hear from you. But like a, you know, just like a legit input. Do you do completely disagree? Is it just like where 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 is that standpoint? And so that's I'm gonna have to watch this. Uh, Lex Fridman yeah. interview, two and a half hours dropped today. And unfortunately, considering everything that's been happening in the media, all of the clips that need to be shown are in this interview. And it's all just being overshadowed by all of the news of, of everything else going downhill today. I so, will say, though, to, to, to leave uh, at this note, I will say I stand behind um, everybody who was offended mm-hmm. by what Kanye said. No, oh, yeah, Facts. absolutely. I stand, I, stand, I stand with yeah. y'all. So. Yeah. Completely unacceptable. Not even, not yeah. even a question. So it's just yeah. like, it's unfortunate because again, you know, I'd like to, it's like I can side with you all the way up until there because that's just over the line. Especially us, we're a very diverse group. Yeah. Uh, our entire team, we just don't even think twice about things like that. Uh, I, so it's just it's not it even, doesn't align with our brain. Those yeah. Thought, yeah, those thoughts don't even cross no. my head at all. No, so. and that's the and that's the weird thing because, granted, I am a huge Kanye fan. There are a lot of things that are a bit polarizing, and I wonder to myself, like, is he onto something? Am I crazy? Is he crazy? Like, I start to have to question there, and so I just challenge everyone to have an open mind, dig deeper, think di- deeper, but do it with love and compassion don't just jump to death con three you know sure. that's a very very extreme way to go everything can be figured out through communication love and compassion so we were going to talk about this month in sneakers but ian has to leave yeah. to go to florida <laughs> today so we're going to catch that on the next episode when he gets back and we'll release that for november there you go and tap awesome. in with me on whatnot i have a. Uh, closet sale that i'm ready to do ooh, next ooh. week we kind of tapped into it a little bit but scotty and i got some stuff to sell man hop on with us on whatnot i'm getting ready to liquidate a whole lot of cool stuff also tap in on with me on twitch oh yeah. yep i'm trying to catch some dubs That's i'm right. on there guys i'm on twitch i listen i pull the trigger optic scotty no space no nothing optic scotty i'm on there i'm starting this week just so you know my little uh setup just came today so now i have right. that laptop set up and i have the uh ring webcam. light camera yeah. webcam nice. so i'm ready i got lit. mine set up yesterday i'm also ready to uh be on twitch i have to figure out my exact platform though there because i have learned a lot about twitch in the last 72 hours that i just it's so much more than anything we ever thought and to especially let me really relay this to you we're trash for not already being on there yeah we've been sleeping it's so much it's there's so much more to that entire world from fashion to just yeah you're, everything. you're saying not even you don't even have to play games you correct could just has, be, yeah you could just be going live or yes. doing things yeah. yeah like that kid kai shout yeah. out kai sanat i want him on the podcast and i want to do a sneaker shopping episode my daughter ava put me on and because i like yay yeah, says listen to the kids you know so i always tap who, who are you watching on yeah. youtube what are you and she's watching this kid kai sanat on twitch and when i told her to follow me on twitch she only had it right there on her phone because because she follows Kai, you know, mm-hmm. but the kid literally just like sits there in his room and just that's it. But if you want to know, <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like the Carlos thing. It's like he's just making his bed and yeah. shaving his head, but it's so genius. Do you want to know? And he's just killing it from. Yeah. You want to know what I witnessed uh, two days ago? So I was like, man, I keep hearing all this T Grizzly stuff. So I get on to T Grizzly's Twitch, and he's actually live right then. This guy was in GTA, and so he had all these people, I guess it was like a, a closed off map, so he just invited the, yeah. the right amount of people, right? So they had it set up, and they were shooting a music video virtually on GTA. So he had these guys like set up, he's like, all right, y'all be over there, y'all stand over there. So he had like these three dudes, then he had a real guy holding a camera, 
And he's like, and he was the cameraman. And so they're going over like how the, that scene was going to play. And so I'm I'm guessing everyone that's involved is screen recording so you can get different angles. Okay. Yeah. So this was like a robbing scene. So they pull up in this like platinum like Honda Accord and they turn to this driveway and they're like, all right, start. So he pulls up, turns in the driveway, pops a trunk, gets the gun. He's like, yeah, man, we about to go rob these fools. Yada, yada. He's with his homeboy. So they run up to this spot that they had set up already where these three guys were chilling and they're like talking to each other. And he's like, pulls the gun out and he's like cussing at him, like, give me the money. And then he shoots him. And then the girl's like, ah, she's like talking crazy to him. <laughs> the other guy's like, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. And the cameraman's like running around getting the shots or whatever. And he takes the stuff and he runs off and they get back to the car and they're like, ah, that one wasn't good enough. He's like, Karen, you need to say this a little louder. You, when I shoot you, I need to make sure that, that everyone can hear you. Everyone be quiet so when I shoot him, you can hear his reaction. Like, they were really doing it. And so, so every time before the scene would start, he would take his little pop-up screen off so it would be a full screen yeah, to yeah, record. Yeah, yeah. And they were literally filming a music video in GTA. Okay, and so crazy. I'm waiting to see like what when, comes out, yeah, drops. when it drops, the yeah. outcome. Because I thought, I thought that was so cool. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that. That's and sweet. there was like 7,000 people in there just like, Watching them do it. Yep. I was one of them. Me and Jordan were laughing. Yep. And I'm That's I'm crazy. telling you, Ian, that is a a new stream. Like if because you have gotten way more into TikTok than I have, right? So me? it yeah. No. There was a time oh, you know, where watch yeah, it, like you told me that you sit at being home and timelessly and yeah, watch yeah, yeah, and scroll. I, I I stopped doing that a minute ago. But, yes, but, but I was a consumer. Yeah, yes. I thought you were talking about making it. Mm, no, 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 no. So yeah. you should, in terms of consuming, switch over, get you, and, and get, yeah, get familiar. Try with Twitch. Twitch for a little bit because it's a whole new world that we just need to. A whole new, I feel that. Whole new world. <laughs> we just need to dive on in, bro. There's a lot. There's a lot that's going on I'll, there that we're missing out on. I'll just tell you, it's just like I mean, I'm in there now. I have. Yeah, I, I, I'm ex I'm excited to see what goes on Optics because I have so many friends that is, try to be Twitch streamers is there ways and it that never Ian works out. Get in, but for not years. play, but like be live with me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I could be like playing, and, and then you, you could like hop phone in. Me in. Yes, yeah, and we could all just be in there while yes. I play. That. That's I'm what I'm so saying. Down for like that. you could be talking to the fans while I'm playing. Yeah. Or exactly. Yeah, fun yeah, friend, bro. I'm telling you, there's a lot there. I will say this though. Stop before we say anything. Modern Warfare. Two like Warzone two yeah it's gonna it's about to happen right yeah yeah might have to do that yeah. there you go I'll play with you yeah. Trey will play Warzone with you. two yeah. all right guys um if you're watching check out my kicks oh yeah I was gonna say this is not something else we got to plug right Scott yeah, this is go for it. this is dropping November fourth six p.m. fourth <sighs> six p.m. first come first serve uh, it's an exclusive collab we did with Isaiah Shales they are a custom AJ one Chicago made out of real Louis Vuitton scarves yep Man. numbered on the tongue number two twenty three Red Louie. What and number I, do I have? I have two. number two. Wow. Can, can you guess who number one was? <laughs> Scotty. Yeah, Scott got number one. Because I was going to complain <laughs> if I didn't get it. He would. He would. <laughs> and you guys don't care. So. Yeah, I don't care. All right, guys. I love everybody. Thank yep. you. Like, subscribe, follow, share, all that good stuff. And we will see you next week for Later, guys. Bye, Speakers of the Month. That's right.